welcome back to my channel. If you're new then hello, my name is Caitlin, welcome. And today we are doing my September Shop My Stash. If you are new to these videos, every single month I go through my whole collection like a little squirrel. I go and ferret out some products that are not in project pans just to give me a little bit of a break. And we do a get ready with me at the end doing a fun, bright, colourful makeup look. So if that sounds good to you, then definitely like and subscribe and keep on watching. Okay, so we're here in September. I am almost 21 years old. In a week I will be 21 and that is scary. So I'm gonna put that out my mind and I'm just gonna shop my stash I think. I have a vague thing in mind but first let's go to the primers which are down here. <laughs> All right so this is my little box of primers. We have um, a lot of mess I think, what do I want? I think I'm gonna pull this. This is my, oh, you can see me. Oh, hello. Hi. <laughs> this is my She Glam, what is it? Birthday, oh, birthday skin. See, it knows, it knows that it's nearly my birthday. So She Glam birthday skin primer. It's like a whipped formula, oh, let me. Can't even get this open. Yeah, it's like a whipped kind of putty kind of formula. So yeah, let's take that. My skin could do with some hydration as well, so that'd be good. Foundations are on the complete other side of the drawer, of course. Um, so this is what we have. I got sent quite a few Makillo foundations in PR. Uh, I've got another one on top of my drawer as well, but I'm not gonna pull them just because I've been using them so much and honestly I know that they like sponsored the video that I did but they're so good. But that's not what this video is about. I think I'm gonna go for the NYX Born to Glow. This is what this one looks like. It is super, super full coverage. And yeah, I'm just, I'm looking to go full beat today because I've been doing a lot of neutral looks. So I just wanna, whoop, I just wanna treat myself to some full glam face. That made no sense, but oh well. Okay, back down here to concealers. <laughs> I'm aware that my setup kind of makes absolutely no sense with having primers, concealers, and then foundations all the way over there, but you know what? I'm not gonna fix it today. It, it can stay there. I'm going to use, do I pull this out? It is a special occasion. Yeah, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use my Too Faced Born This Way concealer. You can see I have not used it in a while because it's all settled, but I'll give it a good shake and then it'll be good to go. Powder, again, let's treat ourselves. Let's be a little bougie. Let's bring out the By Terry Hyaluronic powder. All right, this is my cheek drawer. I have absolutely um, no idea what I wanna bring out. I have an idea of the look that I want to do, but I, oh, I really don't know what products I want to pull. Okay, I think I want to do some singles. The first one I want to pull, pull out is for bronzer, and this is one I want to pull. This is the I Heart Revolution Light Contour Palette. Yeah, I'm gonna pull this. I don't know if I'll use the highlighter, but I mean, I'll give it a go. I've just not used that in a while and I remember really liking it. For blush, I might pull this. This I have not used barely at all. This is my MAC Peaches blush. Um, I got this for like £2 on Look Fantastic because I had a bunch of glossy box points and I just... I haven't used it at all. Well, I think I've used it once. So yeah, let's let's pull this. And for highlighter, I think I'm gonna take this. This is my Mega Lightning from Makeup Obsession. This is so blinding. Like, look at that. Oh my God. So yeah, I think I'm gonna pull out my Makeup Obsession Mega Lightning. Okay, now we've come to the good part. This is eyeshadow palettes. I do have an idea of what I want to pull, so let me just do that. This is my Lethal Cosmetics Custom Palette. Um, I paid way too much money for this and I've used it 
a very little amount of times. I've used it once recently, I can't quite remember what, what look that was for, I cannot remember. But I've seen some people on Instagram do this really cool like hollow wing kind of look with like these cool tone shades and with some blues. So I think I'm gonna attempt to do that today. And I mean, there's some, let me just give you some swatches of these shimmers. They're so beautiful. Here are, these are some of the shimmers. So yeah, I think we're gonna have some fun with that. Okay, we're up top. This is my like pigments and lipsticks and all that kind of stuff. Okay, first of all, let's pull some liners. So the look that I had in mind kind of needs, I think this blue liner from Fenty. Whoops. I don't reach for this very often because it does tend to crack a little bit and I don't really like that. But I haven't pulled these colourful liners for like so long, so I'm gonna pull that and hope for the best, I guess. I may also pull this. This is my collection Glam Crystals liner in the shade Le Freak. So I may put that over it. I may not, um, but we'll, we'll see. I don't really know. Ooh, maybe this can go over the top. This is ColourPop Ice Dream. I'm just, I'm going wild. I'm running with ideas right now. So this is like a swatch of that. You can see it's quite iridescent, but it's like pink and blue. So maybe that can go over the lid. Um, Yeah, it just looks white in the pan, but it's really iridescent -y. So that's, yeah, okay. We may not use that, but I mean, it's there in case. All right, so I want for lips, I want like a, pale nude I think like a pale nudie brown so what have we got and of course it's going to be glossy because of course it is okay this is mac clouds in my coffee this is what it looks like and that is a swatch of it there this is not cruelty free unfortunately but it will go with this look so I'm gonna use it but again I would not recommend picking this up because it's not cruelty free along with the blush that we pulled sadly not cruelty free I don't think by Terry is cruelty free either which sucks um but let me find a lip liner okay this is the lip liner we're gonna use this is Huda Beauty Flirt I think it's called yeah all right so I think that is everything that we're gonna pull today so yeah, that is all the things that we're gonna pull and I will see you up front for the get ready with me. Welcome. Um, so I just spot concealed slightly before I came on camera because I've been a little bit stressed. I know, me, stressed, never heard of it. But yeah, uh, it's happened, I'm stressed yet again. My life's just crazy right now. Uh, I left my eye primer all the way down here, so that's a good start. So yeah, I just spot concealed and if you think I look tired, um, no I don't, don't know what you're talking about, um, just, mm, mm. <laughs> yeah, it's been a little bit of a stressful time recently, um, I've been traveling a lot, not by choice, by, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, but yeah, I've not really been able to sleep as much as I would wish when this video goes live. Um, I've been at a funeral today. Feels weird saying today when I haven't actually been yet. But yeah, been at a funeral. Um, it's just a really fun time for me right now, you know? Really great. But it's fine, you know, whatever. I wasn't that close to the guy, so I'm just going for an em emotional support. But no, it's nice to just sit down and just talk to a camera because I haven't done that in quite a while, it seems. So, <sighs> how are you guys doing? Okay, so I'm gonna start with my eyes and I'm gonna go in with this like darker brown shade with like a flat brush, I think. I think I said during the actual shot my stash, I have seen this look on Instagram. So this is not like an original look but I, I can't remember who it was that originally did it. So credit where credit is due, but I don't know. But yeah, I'm just gonna make like a, a wing, like this, kind of. 
Okay, so this is the kind of thing that we're going for, kind of. Now we've just got to get it even on the other side. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. No, it's kind of weird because I've been traveling so much and I've been very, very busy. I've been doing a lot more neutral kind of looks and to be honest, I've been really enjoying them. I've been getting a lot of use out of my Pamela's eyeshadow shades that are more neutral, um, which is good for my Pamela's eyeshadows project. But it's been kind of bad for my creativity. My creativity is just like kind of gone down the drain over the past few weeks. But I mean, it won't be hard to get back. It'll be fine. Okay, is that even? I feel like this one is slightly raised. That's all right, because we'll probably cut it out. So, I mean, that's not bad. For me, pretty good. Well done, Caitlin. Okay, so now we're gonna blend it out with this lighter shade, which we have pan on. I'm gonna use quite a small brush because it's quite a small blend. And more good news, I am actually getting a mic soon. I bought, well, technically I bought it, but my mom gave me the money for it because it was a 21st birthday present. But um, I went out and bought myself kind of a Blue Yeti mic. I know I'm gonna be a professional YouTuber with a professional microphone. So yeah, my birthday's on the 7th of September. My mum's put it away. She wants to wrap it and give it to me on my birthday. Um, so yeah, from the 8th of September, I'm gonna be using a proper Blue Yeti microphone like all of the big boys. I am literally beyond excited i'm so excited to play around with it knowing me though i'm so bad with technology i'll be trying to set it up for like 10 years and then i'll just get really annoyed with myself but hopefully hopefully that does not happen but yeah i've known that my audio is a little bit skew with for a while and i apologize for that but i i'm just so bad with technology i don't know what I don't know what's happening most of the time. I think I'm gonna bring this lighter shade in a little bit Just for some like depth Ooh, We love a bit of depth. You want to know what's really weird as well. I hit my first pan in my now pan that palette on my birthday last year So it's like a year since I hit pan in my pan that palette. Oh Happy birthday Right, I'm gonna stop talking and try and blend the other eye because at this rate I will finish everything I wanna talk about and I'll only be here. So I will come back when we're looking a little bit more blended because we need a little bit of work right now. But that's okay. Okay, I'll see you in a minute, one minute. Okay, so I know I've skipped ahead a little bit but I would not have been able to do any of this on camera for you to see because I need my mirror like here. So, um, I'm sorry. But basically I just cut my crease in like this hollow shape and then put my Fenty liner just outlining it. So, there you go. Um, okay. So I'm gonna pop this Colourpop shade, um, what's it called? Ice Dream all over the lid. I'm gonna get out all the creasing first. Okay, that's definitely more pink than I wanted it to be, but you know what? It's fine. I think I'm gonna do like the inner corner work and like the more colorful work when I've got all my base on. I just don't wanna do like an inner corner and then have to like smudge it and blend it out and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna move on to the base, I think. So I'm just starting with my She Glam primer. Obviously I do have some concealer on my face right now, like I said, so hopefully it won't be disturbed too much. I really enjoy this primer. This makes my skin feel so nice. Okay, and now my NYX Born to Glow. This is in the shade Porcelain. And I know I've spoken about this before, but like I've really been enjoying brushes for my foundation. It just, I don't know, I used to put way too much foundation on and I don't know, just using a brush makes it look a lot smoother, a lot less 
cakey. So yeah, if you were struggling with cakey looking foundation or cakey looking skin, then definitely try a brush. I know it's not for everyone, but it's worth a try. That being said, I do like to go over with a sponge just to pick up any excess and, you know, flatten out all them brush strokes. Honestly, I think spot concealing has been the saviour of my life over the past few months. I'm having very bad skin issues. I am going to be going back on my contraceptive pill soon, so hopefully I'm praying that that sorts my skin out because if that doesn't work then I'm, I'm running out of ideas, I don't know. Okay, so I've just done my under eye concealer. I'm gonna go off camera and do my brows and my powder because like I say in pretty much every get ready with me, I just think that's really boring to see me do. I don't wanna bore you guys. I'd just rather skip through. So yeah, I will see you when I'm powdered and browed and we will do our cheeks. Our cheeks? They are my cheeks, but we can do them together, it's fine. Okay, see you in a sec. Okay, we're a little bit more human now. So, bronzer, this is my Revolution Chocolate, what is it? Light Contour Palette. I'm just gonna go in with a bronzer, and I remember this being very, very pigmented. So, I'm just gonna go in with a very light hand. I always thought it was very strange that this is the Light Contour Palette, because it is dark. <laughs> it is very dark and I would consider myself light but this is like... I think if I ever tried to pan this palette it would take me about 10 years just because I have to like dip so lightly into the product that I barely make a dip in it. I know that Revolution and the Revolution like empire I guess has been very hit and miss, but I really do like their cheek products. I feel like they do cheek products very, very well. It's just like their eye products that are a little bit like, but I feel like that's all they tend to do now is eye products. Yeah, I do really like this bronzer. It just terrifies me. Okay, so for blush, this is the other end of the price spectrum. This is MAC Peaches, and like I said, I've barely given myself the chance to reach for this. Um, oh, but it's quite pigmented. It's always quite scary picking products for Shop My Stashes because you never really know how the look is going to play out. So sometimes you get a blush that just does not go with the look at all, but I think that this one is quite good. And I know that sometime in the future I am going to have to try and finish this blush because it is MAC and MAC is not cruelty free and that thought is very, 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 very scary for me because, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, hmm. I think Danny recently finished a MAC blush so I'm going to have to uh, do some scouring on her channel to see how many uses it took her. Okay, for highlighter, I'm gonna try the highlighter in this palette. I don't remember if this shade was too dark for me. Oh no, I don't think it's too dark, but I don't think it gives enough pigment for what I'm looking for. Oh, on camera though, it's looking all right. It is quite subtle in real life. It's very densely packed. So I feel like you'd need a little bit more of a firmer brush than the one that I'm using. Yeah, it's really firm in the pan, which is interesting. <laughs> but no, I'm gonna go over with this because this is something else entirely. Oh, oh my god, look at that. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Yeah, this is insane. I'm hoping you can see that. The, yeah, wow. It's almost like a little bit too much. Okay, so we are returning to the eyes, the under eye. I think I just want to do the browns under the eye that we did. So I'm just going to go in with that dark brown first on that very small brush and then I'm blending that out with the more taupey shade. Okay, the inner corner, I think I'm going to start with this shade, this lightest shimmer, and just start popping that. Wow, that's pigmented on the inner corner 
and I'm just going to join it on the lower lash line I think bring it quite far down to meet the brown that we just put down there and then also bring it up to like the middle of the lid. Okay, I think I wanna go in with the tiniest amount of this darker blue because I feel like it's a little bit too teal. Yeah, that just makes it blend in a little bit more with the liner because the liner isn't teal, it's definitely more blue. Oh yeah, this look is really beautiful. Oh, I'm really happy with this. I'm just gonna try and do my lip liner. This lip liner is definitely one that I would like to try and finish uh, next year but then again that kind of scares me because I just managed to finish a lip liner this year and it took me over a hundred uses which is a lot. It's a lot and that was a much creamier formula than that Huda one. Okay so I'm gonna go off camera I'm gonna finish up and then I will see you in a second. Okay so here we are with the finished look. I really really like this look. I think it's really fun. Um, very sparkly, very, I don't know, very sparkly, very glitzy, um, some graphic liner as well. I'm always trying to figure out the best ways to do graphic liner and I think I'm improving slowly but surely so yeah, I'm very glad about that because graphic liner still scares me quite a lot. But that is the end of this video, guys. If you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe because it would mean the world to me. I do shop my stashes every single month. I also do project pans, get ready with me's, all those fun stuff. So you definitely don't want to miss out on that and all the bright, fun, colourful makeup that is to come in the future of this channel. I hope you have an absolutely incredible day and I will see you in the next video.